Hi everyone, I'm Tavia Gutierrez and welcome to your monthly guided meditation with me. So this is for the month of November. Just find a comfortable seated position. I like to have one leg in front of the other and allow the knees to do whatever they need to do. But if you prefer to have a block underneath you or a pillow underneath you, or if you even want to lay down, this is your time. Okay, so pick a comfortable position that you feel like you can settle into, that you can surrender to a little bit, and that you can relax in an energizing way, meaning that you don't have to do anything. You don't need to fiddle with something, just be, okay? So if you're in a comfortable seated position, take the hands, turn the palms down for today, roll the shoulders down and back, and if you're lying down, same thing. Roll those shoulders down and back. Let them slide against the back of the floor. Inhale to scoop your belly button up underneath the rib cage. And then exhale to release it. Okay, inhale to do a scoop of that belly button up underneath the rib cage. Fill the inside of your body with air. Exhale to release it. One more cleansing breath. Inhale to fill everything up like a little balloon. Exhale, let it go. Wherever you're choosing to do your meditation, go ahead and close your eyes. Continue to breathe in a pattern that doesn't feel labored. You don't need to count your breath. You don't need to fill it to its full expansion right now. Right now, you're just breathing, trying to anchor into the breath, and just letting things come and go as they please without controlling them. And as you breathe, do you feel like you can breathe without trying to control it? Do you find yourself holding your breath without even realizing it? That's okay. If you do, release, exhale. Inhaling and exhaling. And as you breathe, just keeping a nice, easy, calm pace. I want you to visualize an outline of your body. If you find it difficult to visualize, just think about it. You don't have to see anything. There are lots of ways to experience something. So if you can't see it in your mind's eye, just think about it. Just listen to my voice or feel it. So visualize, think, or feel an outline of your body. And this outline of your body is made out of neon tubing, so neon lights. The light is not on. Notice if it's a simple outline, a bit of a blob, if you will, or is it a complicated, intricate, almost spaghetti noodle mess of tubing? Keep breathing. So neon lights are glass tubes that are filled with gas. This outline of your body is glass tubing. And it's got some dust on it. It hasn't been on in a while. It's been sitting in an attic, in the back of the closet, a little forgotten. But it hasn't been thrown away yet. It hasn't been given away yet. It's still there. So take a look at your outline in your mind's eye. How much dust does it have on it? Scrape one finger along it and go, oof, there was about two inches on there. Or is it just a little light, teeny tiny layer and you go, that's not so bad, it's okay. Take a breath. Then look down and find the cord to your neon light. 
plug is there and there's an outlet right next to it. Plug it in. Just take note of what your neon light does. Does it turn on immediately? Does it flicker, kind of sputter, and then glow? Or, like a little race car running inside the tubes, does it start to turn on one section at a time, get stuck in a certain place, then turn on and go past it, or does it get stuck in a certain place and it can't light up from there? Take an inhale. And an exhale. Everyone's neon light will be different. What is yours doing? No matter what it's doing, take a breath in through the nose. And like you're blowing a bubblegum bubble from your heart in that bubblegum pink color, exhale and imagine pink bubble being inflated around your neon light. With every inhale you inflate it, with every exhale you inflate it. Allow this pink bubble to smooth out and brighten the light that's been plugged in. The whole thing. No stuck spots, no dim spots. Vibrant. What color is your neon light? Just sit and look at it, feel it, think it, just be with it. Inhaling and exhaling. Allow your body to remain relaxed. Try to deepen the glow of the light with every inhale and exhale. You can work with the breath that every time you inhale you're inflating that pink balloon around your light. And every time you exhale that balloon inflates again and it brightens your neon light. Can you hear the buzz of the light? Neon has that kind of bug zapper sound at a very low frequency. Zzz. There is a vibration to it. Notice if your vibration is loud, soft, or non-existent. There is zero judgment in this space. There is no right answer. It's just a noticing and an awareness. That's all. Now, practice a little magic. In your mind's eye, walk over to the plug. Pull it out of the wall. And allow your light to stay on. Simply because your 3D existence is bound to that plug being in the wall in order for there to be energy and light in your outline. Doesn't mean that's where it has to be in your mind's eye, in a four or five D experience. This is your imagination. It can be whatever you want it to be. This is the playground.
if your light went out when you pulled the plug out of the wall, simply because that's the typical expectation, work with the breath, work with the pink bubble from your heart, and see if in your mind, in your imagination, in those creative spaces, you can get that light to kick back on. It does not need to make sense right now. And with your breath, start to bring your pink bubble away from the light and back into your chest, into the heart chakra. Then in your mind's eye, See it, think it, feel it. Shrink your neon outline of yourself and place it in your heart. Take a breath. Know and remember that you are always plugged in to the higher frequencies. That you are always a light that is capable of shining in the world. And that sometimes all you need to do is remember, think, play in the magic. Life is a balance. It's messy. It's not right or wrong, one or the other. It's always a blend and a balancing. By taking a breath, you anchor into frequencies higher than yourself. You anchor into frequencies that are your true self. Remember to bring the magic into your heart, into you every day, so that you can reflect it out in the world. Take a breath. You're only ever one breath away from magic. When you're ready, open your eyes. Take another anchoring breath. And an exhale. Thank you for meditating with me. Use this video as many times as you want to in this month of November. It's a gift from me to you. So please make use of it. And if and when you're ready to get on the mat to work out with me, you sign up at mattandkitchen.com. Or if you're interested in one-on-one -on -one tarot reading or one-on-one -on -one wellness consultation, you can book those at tandygutierrez.com. Thank you.